The second section of the board is the voltage drop. When we talk about voltage drop, it doesn't matter if we're talking about a blower motor or a headlight circuit or whatever, is we look at the voltage at the start of a circuit and we look at the voltage at the end of the circuit to make sure we are getting proper voltage there. When we talk about voltage drop, the first thing we got to do is make sure our source voltage is good. If you turn this on right now, connect to the positive and negative marked here, we have 13.01, so we know we have good voltage. The other thing in order to have voltage drop is you have to have current flow. In order to do that, we do have a little light in our circuit, we can turn it on, creates our load, and we have voltage drop. Voltage drop is when we have any type of a loss in the circuit. It can be because cables are too small, it could be corrosion, loose connection, whatever. But that's what causes components a lot of times to fail or not work properly. But when technicians generally will do those checks, they look at it without any load, says, oh, I got good voltage, should work. They don't understand that under load, that component's now only getting, you know, 10 volts, 9 volts, whatever, but it's not getting the proper voltage.